Jacob, uh, you started playing football, like you said, in elementary school and have been playing football ever since. What made you decide to start wrestling your freshman year? Was it mainly to stay in, uh, in shape for football, or why did you start wrestling? Uh, Coach Parker kind of intimidated me into it, <laughs> being such a big guy and all. And uh, we used to have a guy around the school, uh, Brandon Kwai, and he was just shredded. And so I used to stay, come into PE class, and Coach Parker pulled me aside and be like, you want to look like Brandon, you got to come out for wrestling. And so the first day of practice, you know, he reminded me, and I came out, and I've always just had that once you join it, you can't quit it expectation mm -hmm. of myself. And I've stuck with it for four years now. Did you eventually start to kind of fall in love with the sport? I think after my first tournament, I fell in love with it. And then at a certain point, I got tired of JV. Mm -hmm. And I fell in love with the uh, cuter girl, which is varsity. Mm -hmm. And there's no words that could describe how happy I was my junior year when I climbed that mountain and I got to varsity. Okay, last year. If I remember right, you were like one win away from placing at state. It, how, how much one did that hurt and how much did it motivate you for this year? Yeah, I was one win away and that one probably hurt the most out of any loss I've ever taken. Uh, just because earlier in the year I'd beaten that kid six to one, wasn't even close. And then at state, I just, I don't know, I choked. And I had to leave like the building for like 15 minutes and just be by myself. And when I came back, you know, I had old coaches, Coach Parker, Travis McBurney, and uh, Daniel Reeling, who all worked throughout the club and stuff with me for club wrestling. And they all just told me, yeah, right now sucks, but you need to train like there's no tomorrow in order to never feel that feeling again. And that's what I did this summer is, I was always here at 6 a.m. lifting with the football guys. And whenever I got the opportunity, I was right back down here afterwards, after conditioning with the football guys. And I was in open mats training with our coaches and our team captains, just making sure that I never have to feel that pain again of what I went through last year. Okay, does this, I assume you wanna play football in college. Does wrestling help, has it helped you become a better football player? Oh, most certainly. Uh, every time I see a freshman with, that I think has potential like I do, I did for uh, football or wrestling, I always tell them, you know, you want to be that guy that carries your team to potentially a state championship, which is the ultimate goal. Get in the mat room and talk to Coach Parker and some of our other coaches like Coach Z and just ask them, what wrestling did for them for football career wise. Uh, Coach Z was a three time state champ at Rossville and he ended up going division one with multiple offers but chose KU and I didn't have the luxury of the D1 offers but I definitely think the wrestling background helped me get some of the offers that I might not have gotten if it weren't for wrestling just because it installs another mentality in you. Okay.